Hello world, this is Chris with Elevations. I'm doing an explanation video today. I've been trying to reach out to other teachers or mentors or coaches for VEX IQ teams to try to help uh, give some insight on troubleshooting for the robots as we are proceeding to the state championships or regional championships within the 2022 and 2023 timeline. So this coach reached out to me and sent a picture of their gearing for their shooter. So this is the game where we're shooting pucks into the two and three and four point zone to try to uh, score points with these pucks. So specifically on this, there's a couple of things that I wanted to point out to help troubleshoot why their shooter is not getting up the RPM necessary to hit that three and four point zone. Zooming in here, we can see we have that main axle going through that's actually on the shooter itself. And then we have the gearing coming from the motor that's up top going to a transitionary gear and then down to the smallest gear that's on the actual flywheel. Notice the flywheel itself has that silver axle going through all the way to the other side. However, these transitionary gears only have the pins going into that piece of structure. All right, let's transition over to the whiteboard. On the whiteboard, I'm going to show you the structure that we have now. So according to the image we just saw, you essentially have your primary drive from your motor up here in the top that comes down to that transitionary gear right here, and you have a little pin. And then you actually have the axle going all the way through, small gear, and then this will be your flywheel right here. So that's what I see that you have in the photo right now. So one of the issues that I see is this gear structure here only has the single structure of the robot. I think that would be a 2 by 12 or a 4 by 12 What happens then is because of that single pin or that single axle going to that single frame, is it, it's coming over here a little bit, since you have, in essence, this, it allows that axle to kind of wobble. So this will be wobbling back and forth up and down it doesn't actually keep it straight to be able to allow that force all the way down to this axle so one of the things that i imagine is happening is as this is spinning up this is losing a lot of its power because so much torque is being used in this transitionary gear because it is wobbling around so much so what would be ideal to do is to rebuild that adding a secondary structure piece so you'll see if you do that exact same setup where you have your motor and then you have the structure piece that you have now, add another structure piece. So that could be a 2 by 12 again, for example. So then you have your gear, your primary gear would be here, and then the axle goes through so then it keeps it straight. Okay, then that transitionary axle transitionary gear has an axle that goes from this piece of structure to this piece of structure. This keeps this gear straight and aligned. And then you have this next piece. And then that axle is for your flywheel shooter itself. Obviously, these teeth are touching. This is just to illustrate. So that allows these axles to stay exactly horizontal to the field uh, because you have this vertical piece here uh, holding that axle nice and square. Something to keep in mind is you definitely want to have some spacers or washers between the structure piece and the actual device that's spinning. So I always say anything that's in motion, that's coming in contact with something that's stationary, needs to have a, waste or a washer or a spacer uh, between that motion and that stationary piece. Now something you can do uh, that a lot of our teams do is actually take that gear and double up another one right here, double up another one right here, and then double up another one right here. So then you can actually connect these larger gears together. There are a lot of holes in those gears that allow you to combine the two gears together. For example, this would be one of that larger gear. You could take another larger gear, in essence, combine them with the pin in the center. And then that axle goes through here. This gear structure would go right there. And then you have the spacers on either side. That way you have more grab on the axle. And as it comes down to this transitionary gear and then your primary drive gear for your axle, you're having that much more uh, grab on these teeth. So if it does potentially move from side to side, you don't lose grab on this. It just 
you would only have one gear in contact versus losing contact entirely. So not only does that help that axle from wobbling, it holds it straight, then you have additional teeth going down to the secondary and then the final gear here. So that should increase your shooting RPMs. Now obviously we have some gear ratio stuff you could work on, some things that our teams often do well, you'll have this transitionary gear that's right here. If you do a smaller one, for example, just do a small gear here and then a medium gear that's on that driven, this larger gear here will spin this axle faster and then this one will come down to this one. You'll lose a lot of torque right here on this final one. However, you do gain a lot of speed. So for example, if this one is now a medium, then that touches this small one, you're gonna have a higher output RPM here than you would if you just went from big to medium to small. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll show another video of some of this wobbling here that we had on one of our shooters when we were troubleshooting with the 2048H team. And hopefully that will help you increase your RPM and reliability of your shooter. You see, since it's only going through one structure, it's not keeping it properly parallel and allowing it to twist slightly and then you have, a, you have a bind right there. And when you have such a gear ratio, a bind like that is going to stall out that motor hardcore. Opa! Now something else to keep in mind is when you're looking at these longer axles, you got to look for bends. If we are dealing with higher RPMs and there's any little bend in these axles, it will certainly kill your shooter. And that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this is going to give you a good place to launch off of. Let me know if you have any other questions. And for any of you that are watching, please like and subscribe below. And as always, I hope you all learned something today. Thanks for watching.